Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you're doing well, as always, as usual. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So today, I've got a, I, <laughs> this is, this is like some of the best like tears I've ever seen. So today is going to be a video about Angela Davis, who is a prominent. Okay, so uh, I'll give an overview of it. But we'll we'll go through the Wikipedia and then we'll watch a video. I'm, I'm trying to find this clip. Other YouTubers did videos on it, and I don't know. I'm going to Ben Shapiro because I'm too lazy to fucking find it myself. And uh, Angela Davis, what a character, what a hero of the left. And it turns out she sat down. You know how they like do the DNA test? You are the father. You are not the father. No, I'm just playing. It's not like that. But it turns out that this prominent person that is considered themselves just like black, a communist, like a straight up card carrying communist. She's like social cancer, pure social cancer. We're going to go over Wikipedia briefly. And then we're going to watch when she finds out that one of her ancestors was on the Mayflower and they were white. And she just gets all fucked up. She's like, that, that doesn't compute. No. There's no way in hell, there's no part of me that's white. Instead of being like, I don't know, impressed. This communist, she can't take it. She, like, it's kind of funny. It's just like, yeah, well, it turns out like you literally, and what are the chances of that, bro? The, your ancestors were on the Mayflower. It's pretty cool, actually. I would think, shit. Someone told me that, I'd be fucking, I'm like, wow, that's awesome. But this person... Anyway, she was acquitted. There was like a, a failed like a bank robbery or not a bank robbery. It was like a prison break. Some people went into a fucking courthouse and started shooting people and trying to get somebody broken out of jail and they used her guns. So, you know, they were like, why are they using your guns that came back registered to her? So she went to trial. She was acquitted and then she's been a hero ever since. And social cancer in the universities, pushing a bunch of the shit that I bitch about in my videos. So let's get started. All right, Angela Davis. Blah, blah, blah. Don't really care about this here. <laughs> Is an American political activist, philosopher, academic, and author. She's a professor at the University of California, Santa Cruz, a Marxist, and a feminist. Davis was a longtime member of the Communist Party USA, like I said, card-carrying member of the Communist Party, and a founding member of the Committees of Correspondence for Democracy and Socialism. Yeah, because that whole communist shit, people get turned off by that, so they try to water it down. You know, this is like a thing on the left. Language is very important to them. And they'll water down their language if it will bring more people over. Author of more than 10 books on class, gender, race, and the U.S. prison system. Yeah, so totally what you expect, social cancer. Just so you know who is uh, going to freak out over this. Born to an African-American family in Birmingham, Alabama, Davis studied French, blah, 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 blah. She, uh, <laughs> an adherent to the Frankfurt School. I should do a video on the Frankfurt School. I have. I've mentioned them in a video. My Marx critique, I, I bring up the Frankfurt School specifically. And I actually say that they were a bunch of Jews that, Hit, that Hitler didn't kill. It's actually true. Like, they were from Germany and the Frankfurt School was set up in the United States. Anyway, so she's a total communist, total Marxist. The Frankfurt School specifically took Marxism and applied it to gender and race in the United States to cause divisions. They saw World War I, didn't work out, so they went back to the drawing board because they just thought like that the poor French and the poor British and the poor Germans, they wouldn't fight. They would just see this, but when the poor French and the poor British and the poor, poor Germans were happy to go fight each other for, you know, <laughs> the the capitalist system and they were slaughtered but they were happy to do it and they took pride they said okay well the culture that they're fighting for is a problem we need to destroy the culture and the marxist school the frankfurt school essentially just took fucking like it took the whole oppressor versus oppressed thing and instead of being about class and economics it said let's turn this into race and gender and they've been and you can see how successful they've been in destroying the culture i mean They've been wildly successful. Like, I hate to say it. And this is what we're fighting back against. And it's like, it seems like a lost cause, but you have to fight back. But anyway, she is one of these people. 
which is, um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, oh, I like this part too. She was hired as an acting assistant professor of philosophy at the University of California, Los Angeles, or UCLA. Governing board of regents soon fired her due to her Communist Party membership. Uh, remember when that was a thing? After a court ruled the firing illegal, the university fired her again, this time for use of inflammatory language. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how the universities have fallen since then. Yeah, but I've already went over this armed takeover of a courtroom in Marin County, California, which four people were killed. Anyway, the person that did that used her guns. She, she was acquitted, actually. And anyway, just pure social cancer. But let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's get to the let's get to the meat. Let's get to the meat of this. So that is a list of the passengers on the Mayflower. <laughs> Hold on, did I? Here Which it. he fit as a deeply racist, terrible place. And that she is representative of of on the uh, of under attack minorities. Oh yeah, and Ben mentions too that um this dude apparently this is the same guy that did a DNA test or no, nah, it's not DNA test. It's like going back through the family history and Ben Affleck got all fucked up because <laughs> in the past one of his ancestors owned slaves. It's like, dude, you don't own slaves. But anyway, just to let you know, this show or whatever. Well, something very ironic happened to Angela Davis. She did Henry Louis Gates' show, which is all about ancestry. And now, there have been some kind of interesting moments on uh, on Henry Louis Gates' show before. So most most famously, uh, Ben Affleck uh, did an episode in in which he found out that um, he had a slaveholding ancestor, and he got very very upset about this. Now, I think most normal people look at their ancestry and like, well, I can't change any of that, so who cares? Uh, but it was a big controversy at the time. Well, now this one is, is pretty rich. Angela Davis is sitting there, and she finds out that one of her ancestors arrived on the American Mayflower, which means that for all of her anti-Americanism, one of her great-great-great-great-grandparents was one of the original... Um, That's really rich. Uh, I, did, I didn't mean to go this far back. American white settlers. Yeah, man. Here's Henry Louis Gates with Angela Davis. That is a list of the passengers on the Mayflower. <laughs> no, I can't believe this. <laughs> no. <laughs> no way. No way you're saying part of me was had to do with the founding of the country. The first settlers. The country. No, there's no fucking way. She's like upset. She's upset. Don't be upset, Angela. Embrace your history. You're actually like descended from like really important people in this history of this country. She just can't deal with it. She's like, she's like, okay, I have to do some things. I have to get my family together and slaughter them and then kill myself. No, no, I'm just, this is a joke, right? YouTube, like, but she might, let's wait a week. So they're going to have a family reunion out of the blue. She's going to call up. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. My ancestors did not come here on the Mayflower. You, your ancestors came no. on the Mayflower. No, no, no. Yes, they did. You are a descendant of the Mayflower. And she's like, no. Sort of like, you know, you are the father. <laughs> this is so rich, dude. I love it. I love it. Damn. You are descended no, 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 from no. one of the 101 people who said... This, this lady should start a salt mining company because she's going to just be crying so much. She's going to sell that salt. Those tears, some value, but there's going to be so much tears. On the Mayflower. Oof. That's a little bit too much. <laughs> uh-huh. Right now. Did Look you at that. That's... Wildest dreams. Think that you may have descended from people who laid never the foundation never for this guy. No, she's she's pissed. She's very upset. Very upset. Nah, that's really cool. Even if she doesn't think that's cool, I think that's cool about her. The only thing I think is cool about her, and she hates it. You could just see it in her face. Uh, embrace your past, sister. Never. <laughs> never. 
And so the, like her disbelief and her kind of shock, and she, she obviously looks a little bit upset about this, is kind of amazing. Right? This is, you know, America is an amazing place in which Angela Davis's ancestors from, you know, obviously her, the black side of her family were victimized in the United States, obviously. But also it means that some of the founders of the United States are in her, are in her lineage. So I'm not sure which side of her pays reparations to the other side. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to let Ben talk too much. Um, yeah, so I just thought that was interesting as all hell. <laughs> like this communist hates here. Like who would want, like, I don't know. She's like the only person, well, I could think of other people that if they were told this, they would be very upset as well. But that's just interesting. Like most people, if they were told that, they would just be like, oh my God. That's amazing. I'd be so proud of that. I would tell everybody, <laughs> you know, but I just thought that was an interesting, cool story. And, um, yeah, Angela Davis, <laughs> she goes back all the way to the very beginning and she hates it, but you shouldn't Angela. It's kind of cool. It's like definitely yeah, it's like, that's crazy. But you, of all people, your descendants came from the Mayflower. That's pretty cool. You should embrace it. You won't. But I think that's like the one cool thing about her. So fuck these Marxists. And that was just like an interesting kind of... Yeah. It's a crazy world we live in. It's a beautiful country we live in. It just shows, like, I don't know, the left... They're ashamed of even their own prominence in the country in the beginning. And it was all a crime. But look forward to some sort of Jamestown event in whatever town she lives in. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I think I already got a next video plotted out, but a fan of mine. It's weird to say I have fans. Like they recommended I look into something, and I will. So I might have a couple more videos today. I'm off today. I do pick Mandia, but that's about it. So that's like much later. So I'll see you in the next video. I hope all of you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye. Mm, what the fuck?